Why do tigers and zebras have stripes, cows and giraffes have spots, and humans have nothing? Your instinctive answer might be to argue that because we're all different species, there is surely something in our DNA that specifies what patterns we get. Maybe there is a library with different skin patterns, and each species has a different set of blueprints. But that would be a huge library of blueprints, and even within the same species there are many differences. Is there another answer? One of the most important models in pattern formation was proposed by Alan Turing, who noticed that we could obtain patterns with relatively simple partial differential equations called reaction diffusion equations. Then, we can get animal coat patterning to form due to interactions between chemicals that are sensitive to spatial and temporal factors. Even though this is one of the primary hypotheses for pattern formation, we must not confuse it for the absolute answer. There are other possible mechanisms for pattern formation that exist, but we will not focus on them here. For now, let's focus on the pattern formation theory that was developed collaboratively by experimentalists and theorists and include people like Einstein, Alan Turing, and Francis Crick.